Changes could be coming for short term rentals in the city of Columbus. We're talking about those Airbnbs and condos you can rent for a week or two at a time online. Well, tonight proposed changes were introduced during City Council's Rules and Reference Committee. 10 TV's Richard Solomon has more on what those changes are and what some think about them. No more bad apples. That's the idea Columbus City Council has when it comes to short term rentals. These are our properties. Some of us do live in the properties. If not, this is also our livelihood. Lainey Mingi owns three Airbnbs in the brewery district. She told me she hasn't run into any issues, but agrees stricter rules are needed. It's no different than a hotel. If you're going to throw a big wild party in a hotel and make a bunch of noise, they're going to ask you to leave. I mean, we're Airbnbs are no different. The only difference is, is that it's an experience and it's someone's home. Councilmember Rob Dorans introduced the changes at tonight's Wait. meeting. The changes could strip away a host license if problems at their properties are detrimental to the neighborhood. In the past, the city has run into renters throwing big parties, being disruptive and disrespectful to neighbors and illegal activity. And how will these proposed changes benefit the city of Columbus? If folks are not doing uh, the right thing over and over and over again, uh, we want to make sure that there's a process in place to, to take that permit away, to take, take the ability for that, that business owner to, to operate. Dorans also introduced the 311 system, which allows for an investigation to begin after three calls have been made about problem rentals. The only complaints were towards this map, which displays all short term rentals in the city and public info, like the location or exact number of beds within the home. It just feels like a real invasion of our privacy. One person said it's needed. By us being able to see this on a map and seeing where these are located in our community, this will help us to keep our family safe. Councilmember Dorian says changes will be made if needed. But for Mingi, she says it's a good move all around. And if we're not following the rules, just like the guests, we should be punished. Reporting in Columbus, Richard Solomon, 10 TV News. Council member Doran says this legislation will be on city council's agenda July 12th, and if it passes by emergency use, it would go into effect July 22nd.